Hello, welcome. This is Birdie. Welcome to a new lesson in Houdini. Today we will take condensation in Houdini and the shell tool. So let's get started. So let's use condensation and the shell tool in Houdini. Click select surface object for condensation. Okay, we'll hit escape. Type tab, then sphere, then again select the sphere. I already selected, so it already make the three node for us. Okay. Let's see what Houdini create. We have two uh, new nodes, fluid particle. Of course, this is a surface, the mesh for the fluid, and let's get inside the auto dob network. This is a bob a network, not fluid uh, network like the other fluid because it has a pop solver and pop object, right? If we go back here and we type uh, pop. Uh, maybe in, inside the sphere like this oh, it's a little complicated here okay let's make pop network this is as well dop network but it's called pop network Okay, this is different because here we we deal with um, the uh, points only, not the volumes. Okay, we deal here with the uh, particles or the pop yani. Okay, so we have pop object, we have pop solver, and we have the output. Of course, we have the pop uh, object which contain the the particle. Okay, then we have the pop solver update, collect, sleeping, uh, all these parameters. Then we have the pop source that it read the the source of the particle or the surface, which what we will uh, what uh, object we will uh, emit the particle from. Is it surface or is it points? So here it's, it said scatter onto surface. So this uh, sphere, it will scatter the points from the surface of this sphere. Okay. Use first con uh, context geometry. Okay. It should add it here. Con first contact geometry. Yeah, here here it is. All points. Sphere source out. Okay. So here is the source in the pop source. Okay. So the thing here it uh, let's forget now the pop uh, network. It's not important now, but just I want to, to show the difference between the pop network and the flip dop network okay inside the solver is different and the object is different the flip object and the flip solver in the fluid and the pop object and the pop solver in the pop network okay so here it just scatter points in the on the surface of the sphere we have the sphere here we scatter points then we trans attribute transfer uh, emission. We create another uh, just a few uh, particles this time scatter. Then add attribute uh, noise. It create attribute name called emit frame. Okay. Then fade emission. It fade it. Fade start frame. Okay. Then we add this attribute 
to the to, to all the scatter okay so every one of these points have this attribute so we transfer we transfer it to uh, amount of the particles here okay so as we can see if you if you if you want to see the the attribute it's called okay let's see the emit for example visualization if we add uh, attribute called emit Uh, random from attribute yes okay doesn't give us anything color mm. Maybe we choose. Um, I'm not sure why it's not working. No entire here. Okay. Let's do visible. Okay. I have better idea. Let's just uh, click in this one. Okay. It will show us. Right click, emit, right? Edit. color attribute trend okay so it doesn't have really much now as we can see all have the same color meaning all have the same uh, attribute emit maybe we can also split left right top bottom and choose uh, geometry spreadsheet yeah as we can see here all have zero amount of the attribute emit that's why it's all have the same color right okay anyway let's go back so now we have the source points we emit new particle on this point here, rock, uh, here replicate the point every point with, will burst 20 uh, 200 points in every point okay and another pop fluid yeah pop fluid it give us it give it the the effect of viscous uh, the effect of fluid in general okay this note work on the particle uh, and uh, it make the particle act like they are fluid okay so this is a pop fluid same particle same note same concept note note that we use it also in the white water solver okay so this is a pop fluid it gives the particle the effect of the the effect of the fluid so as we can see like now the water started to condensation on the surface and then it's dropped like right and it has of course a viscous it has a viscous one here if i tell r0 it will not going to have a viscous yeah, it will just uh, follow down like this as we can see the effect become much uh, different now because it doesn't have a viscous okay so then uh, attach it to the pop solve here we have node uh, geometry wrangler big code and the pop object and then we have the sphere here the the object of the sphere this one the VDB it reads the VDB 
the shape of the sphere and the geometry okay and that's I think that's it so it uh, condensation particle as if it is fluid so it's a little different than all this uh, other uh, tools because it, it use pop uh, pop solver not a uh, flip solver so this is the different I think they should put it like in the particle or something because here as well it's it, it deal with pop network okay but anyway so this was the condensation was the condensation okay that was the end of this lesson I hope you enjoyed and I see you in the next time have a good day